Hi, Rudy Winston with Canon USA. Maybe you've bought your first EOS interchangeable lens camera recently, or perhaps you've owned it for a while. Either way, you want to move your photography forward, and if flash is a big part of the pictures you take, you know how direct flash pictures can look like snapshots. If that's the case, the next few minutes are aimed directly at you. Bounce flash can completely change the visual character of your pictures. Indoor flash pictures can take on a completely natural look, but it may have seemed difficult to understand and hard to implement. Canon has an answer. We're introducing the world's first full auto bounce technology with the Speedlight 470 EX AI. It's a totally new answer, and for the inexperienced photographer, it has the power to change your indoor flash photography. Full Auto Bounce with the 470EX AI does require a compatible Canon EOS camera. We'll outline that in a few moments. The process is elegantly simple. Mount the 470EX AI on a compatible EOS camera and slide its bounce mode switch to the F position. Aim at your subject and zoom and focus as you always do. Now, with the camera pointed at the subject, press the AIB measurement start button. The Speedlight fires two low power test flashes, one aimed straight ahead and the second aimed straight upward toward the ceiling. From these, it automatically calculates the correct angle for effective bounce flash shooting. And it automatically tilts and swivels the flash head to that angle. Now, just shoot your pictures. If you move closer or farther from your subject or move to different indoor surroundings, just repeat the process and press that rear AIB button again. A new bounce angle is automatically set. What about if you switch from horizontal to vertical composition or re-aim the camera? Just tap the shutter button twice and the flash head automatically repositions itself to maintain that same initial bounce angle. You can even speed this up. With flash personal function eight, you can set option one and have this auto repositioning occur continuously as you move the camera, as long as the meter timer is active. If it goes out, just tap the shutter button to wake it back up. And with option two, this flash personal function lets you adjust to any changes in camera orientation with a single tap on the shutter button instead of the default double tap that's normally needed. Personal function eight can be set on the 470EX AI's LCD panel once you've pressed the sub menu button on the back of the flash. As we said, full auto bounce is easy to set and can really deliver powerful results for indoor flash shooting. Here are some additional details on this revolutionary feature. Full Auto Bounce requires a flat, light-colored ceiling that's no more than 23 feet from the floor. Full Auto Bounce will often set the flash head to face slightly backwards and upward but away from your subject. This is normal to take advantage of possible walls that may be behind the photographer. But many experienced photographers are more accustomed to an upward angle more toward the subject. If you don't want the flash head to face backwards, with flash personal function seven, you can set option two. This will limit full auto bounce to tilting no farther than straight upwards. The flash head zoom is always automatically set to the 50 millimeter position during bounce, regardless of the lens you're using and manually changing it isn't possible in the full auto bounce setting. You can spread or narrow the beam of illumination by switching to the semi auto bounce setting. And full auto bounce does require a compatible Canon EOS camera. The list on screen shows those cameras that can perform full auto bounce with the Speedlight 470 EXAI at the time of the flash's introduction. Some models, like the EOS 6D Mark II and Rebel SL2, also allow you to activate full auto bounce with a press of the camera's depth of field preview button, in addition to the rear AIB measurement start button.
This incredible new Speedlight 470 EX AI technology is aimed squarely at users who want to move their flash pictures beyond the snapshot stage, especially if you've tried Bounce Flash before and had difficulty with it. It's the first time the camera industry has ever had a flash that could automate this process and with it put the power of excellent indoor flash pictures squarely in your hands. And there's also the semi-auto bounce setting, which is perfect if you're already experienced with bounce, but want a way to speed up working with it. For Canon USA, I'm Rudy Winston. Thanks for joining us.